Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Moffat. Guys, I think we have some good news about ivermectin. It's prelim preliminary, but I think we have some good news. You know, I've been making some videos now and then on COVID and ivermectin and other therapeutics. And if you go to my channel, if you just use the magnifying glass and open up search box and put in COVID or ivermectin, you can find the videos I've done on the earlier. But I want to make a new one this morning. There's There were three studies done started, I should say, this summer to uh, look into ivermectin and other therapeutics in a, a conclusive way that would be um, leave less doubt about them. And I've been waiting for somebody to give me the results because they've been going on now for several months. And I got some preliminary information about the one at the University of Minnesota. And they're studying not just ivermectin, but two other possible candidates for a therapeutic, fluvoxamine and um, what was the other one, uh, metformin. And they're using them along with placebos and so on, and in, in double-blind studies and so on, to a way to prove as well as they can whether or not these off-label drugs would be uh, helpful as a therapeutic. The good news is this. They've, they're have they halfway through the study, and they're 50% enrolled, and they would not have allowed them to continue unless at least one of these drugs they were studying showed some positive results in helping patients. So let's see what's going on here. We start off saying the clinical trial uh, using ivermectin is now more than halfway enrolled. The study was the nation's first to begin looking whether metformin, which is a medication for type 2 di diabetes, or fluvoxamine, an antidepressant, and ivermectin, an antiparasitic or their combination could serve as a possible treatment options to prevent hospitalization and long COVID. The clinical trial received an important green light from the Data Safety Monitoring Board to continue enrolling. That's excellent news. The study is analyzed every two weeks, and none of the study arms were futile, and enrollment should continue. So this is important data because if the data showed that one or more of the medications wasn't protecting volunteers at all, the DSMB would halt that arm of the study. Carolyn Bramante, doctor, principal investigator of the study. She goes on to say, we're actively recruiting additional participants to complete the study and give answers about whether or not these medications, along with COVID-19 vaccination, can be an important tool in preventing hospitalization reducing viral load, or lowering risk for long COVID. They're still accepting volunteers. You should be between uh, 30 and 85 years old, and they want a specific body mass index. Basically, be at least 5 feet 6 inches tall and weigh more than 155 pounds. And you should enroll within three days after receiving a positive COVID-19 test. But the sooner the better. And it study includes those who have been vaccinated or those who have not been. And to learn more about the study, go to covid.outumn.edu uh, backslash dot. So I'll leave a link to this in the video description. So this is excellent news. It doesn't prove anything yet, except that one of those off-label drugs must be helping patients in the manner that they were looking for. And I'm my bet right now is fluoxamine, because we've already had some uh, news releases that fluoxamine was supposedly helpful. We also had the same thing about ivermectin, but people said, no, that's not true. So now they're trying to prove it in a way that people can't say, uh, well, no, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. They're, they're, they went and made the study, so when they're done, it's going to be hard for people to refute the results. Hopefully, keep my fingers crossed. Um, I'm anxious to see where we can get more therapeutics if it is fluvoxamine and not ivermectin, I don't care. I don't care if it's peanut butter and jelly, so long as it's something helping besides just vaccinations, because we need therapeutics along with vaccinations. And I'm also waiting for the Novavax vaccination to come out early next year, which is one that won't be using the mRNA technology, something that I'm looking forward to learning more about and uh, maybe even taking myself. All right, guys, this was good news. I haven't seen it. If I go to other search engines i'm not able to find i went to DuckDuckGo and got this information here and this was as of november 11th so this was a couple weeks ago and i haven't seen this in the news anywhere so i thought it was good news and it's uh hopeful news it's hopeful news 
for ivermectin and some other therapeutics out there. So, guys, keep your fingers crossed and your powder dry. <laughs> and uh, you all stay safe and uh, check me out on my channel. put new stuff every single week. All right, guys, take care. See you out there.